Hey, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can index and delete AEM data to Solar. Index means how you save your data to Solar. So Solar API provide you high level implementation so that you just need to use their methods, give the data, whatever the method needs and you are done. But to write a proper uh, functionality, I will be writing these much of classes. The actual code is pretty less. You can fit that code in your project as per your need. So I'll explain that a particular code, but to write a production ready code, I will be writing these much of classes. Let me explain what are those. So this Geeks Solar Service, so, so, uh, Geeks Solar Search is a servlet. Right now it's a pathway servlet. You can make it a resource base as well. Solar Search Helper, this is a helper class which contain all the objects, whatever you need. So I'll be passing this class to every method, every service. So whatever you need in method or service, you will have that all the objects. Page service is a service which will provide you the data, whatever the data I need to index to AEM. This is right now, I'm just passing pretty straightforward structure. You can make a complex structure. This service is actually a uh, interface. Obviously, we will have the implementation class. Solar service, this contain all the methods which actually communicate to your solars means the making the actual calls to the solar obviously this is also interface we will have a implementation class for it solar configuration service this is actually the service which take or bring your osgi configuration because this is a factory configuration so i will be using solar service manager this is a service which will be used to get your specific configuration osgi configuration based on the site id how you get that factory configuration that's old story we already have a detailed tutorials available over this channel you can go back and check how you fetch the osgi factory configurations solar osgi config this is the osgi configuration which contains some fields i'll show you what are those solar ca config this is a context aware configuration which contains site id and your collection id and the solar util which contains the utility methods which i will be using throughout this project so let's understand quickly how it will work. So I will be having a servlet. Inside this servlet, I'll use at the rate reference annotation to get my page service and solar service. I'll pass these two services to this solar search helper. This is a plain Java class. I will be creating object of this Java class by passing these object of these two services. So you inside this class, I'll call this solar CA config how the solar CA config will be called based on the path. I have already explained what is the context aware configuration. So I'll pass and based on path, I'll get this con solar context aware configuration. Inside this, I'll get the site ID. I'll pass this site ID to the solar service manager service, which using this site ID, it will give me a OSGI configuration based on this site ID. Once I have this, this contact with this OSGI configuration using this, so I'll be having one. Now I will be having the OSGI configuration. Now I'll make the call to solar server because right now I have all the data with me. So now this communication will happen. So what I'll pass, I'll pass two query parameter as part of this tutorial. One is site path, another one is search operation. So site path is basically the path for which, of which site I will be making this uh, call and the search operation, whatever the operation you want to perform. For example, in this tutorial, let's say index and delete. For index, I'll index the data to solar and delete means I'll delete all the data from the solar for a particular uh, website. So keep in mind these, this, these tutorials are written, keeping in mind that you can reuse this for any number of the websites, any number of the sites. So that's why the site path and this context aware configuration so that you can reuse this for any number of brands or any number of sites. So this is my OSGI configuration. So right now you will see more fields, but we will be using these two fields, site ID and ser solar server endpoints in this tutorial. Why solar server endpoints? Because, and why this is factory? Let's understand like this way. Today you have one site, tomorrow you can have different sites, two more sites or five sites and each site can have different solar URL. So that's why the different solar server, that's why you have this OSGI factory configuration for a specific brand, you can have a separate factory configuration and separate data. Solar context aware configuration, this has site ID and core name and there's one more field, I'll use this later. But for now, site ID is the site ID, which is same as an OSGI configuration and the core, core name whatever the core name associated to this a particular site in solar. This is my servlet, which is pretty straightforward. I'll get two services, my solar service and my page service. And this uh, 
this solar service manager and I'll be passing this solar service manager while creating an object and okay while creating object of this solar search helper which I told you like this is a simple class and while I'll make a call to the method like search solar I'll be passing these two services you see all these services have been used here let's understand this helper because this helper is very important because this helper will be containing all the objects so when you create an object I pass the request uh, response and the solar service manager so if you see here I got request I got response here and I get the site path okay whatever the site path I passed there okay this is the query parameter as I told you once I get that side path from that side path, I got this context aware configuration. So keep in mind this context aware configuration will be specific to a particular site because context aware configuration bind it to your side paths or the page path. So as I got this context aware configuration using side path. So this context aware configuration will be for the site which I make a request here. Okay. Once this is done, I have one more, uh, one more uh, this constructor so I'll not using as of now but I will be using this later you can have any number of constructor constructor of a class so whatever the constructor I need I'll use that in my servlet now this is the search method actually which is the important method if you see here I create this method means I call this method using page service and solar service so you will be seeing here inside this what I'm, I'm getting resources all over from the request why this if you check here while creating this uh, this uh, class object I saved all these values request response from this constructor so that's why I'm using okay get me the same class same class and then request and then resource resolver so right now I'm getting it from the request you can get it from your uh, based on your project structure let's say you can get it uh, using the service uh, the service user whatever you use based on your project so this I just wanted to explain how it communicate to solar so that's why I'm keeping a very simple use case here so before I explain this further let let's understand the other classes so that you can understand other services okay let me open those okay services and three important services are first solar service okay uh, this one solar configuration service implementation this is provide you the OSGI configurations if you check here I binded this to at the rate designate that I have already explained and it will return all the methods means all the all the configurations available in your OSGI configuration this is specifically create a particular object of a OSGI configuration right because this is factory configuration I made it factory if you see here factory means you can have multiple configuration of same kind so this one solar service manager this this service is used to get a specific configuration so if you check here I get I so these are bind and unbind methods inside bind I am creating a map of all the OSGI configurations available mean that particular service okay here this is unbind if I remove something so this will execute and it will remove from that map so basically this is the method if you pass on a uh, site ID it will return you a particular match this site ID and it will return a particular configuration service to you so that's why if you check here okay here from this service manager I'm passing a specific ID I'm this from this context of a configuration I got this site ID and I'm passing site ID and from that site ID I got this solar configuration service means I got a particular OSGI configuration service now this will have all your methods so what is happening here now I got this operation is basically what you get from the query parameter when you make a request and I'm saying if it is index then got me the page service this page service doing just it getting the data okay let me show you what is doing this is just returning a list of the data means I created a page detail which contained uh, that just the title uh, title name description and the path of those fields means page so if you check here I'm getting resource resolver and I'm iterating all the pages under a particular path and then I'm inside this uh, 
page detail this is actually a bean inside this what i'm adding i'm adding title name description and path so title is if missing it will get the name and this is just simple to populate that information that's it you can have this like okay so i got this i created this and now i added this inside a list so i got a list of page details right this page details contain a particular information to a particular page now i'm making a request to solar actually this is the solar service and this is the add document method this method my custom method will be responsible to index data okay let's see what is this so one particular uh, important thing is i'm passing this page details obviously this list and that this means the object of this class where i am in right now right so the whole object of this solar search helper will be passed using this this keyword this this is important because this object contain everything whatever you need so if we go here this important this method is important so what i'm doing i'm making a solar i got this solar url okay if you see i got uh, this object of this class and then i got this OSGI configuration from OSGI configuration. I got the endpoint, right? I got this. If you check here, I got this one, this one. Okay. Next, I got this client. So what I'm passing, I'm passing this solar service and URL and I got this client. So this is pretty straightforward inside the solar utils. I wrote this simple method. Just check it. It's nothing just a out of the box means provide this method is completely out of the box provided by your APIs not this method but how you return that uh, solar client so if you see return new this is the uh, this is the class provided by your solar APIs and just building this using this uh, endpoint and some connection timeout thing that's it I return this solar client here okay now I got the solar client to a particular endpoint so now for each entry means for each page, I'm creating a solar input document. Okay. Inside this, I'm adding whatever the data I have inside my list. So I'm iterating that list here. I got this page detail and inside that page detail, I'm getting data one by one and I'm creating, you know, uh, this solar input document and I'm adding this to client. If you see every time I'm adding this to client, okay, adding to client and to a particular core name means collection name we'll use the core name as of now in method i use collection so and i'm adding this if you see here i pass whatever the core name i have for this particular class and this core name is coming from my context aware configuration if you see i'm i have this object of this class solar search helper from that i got solar config and from the solar config i got this uh, this collection name and i'm passing the doc whatever the doc I created. So once this iteration is done, once the all the loop is complete, then I'm committing the data. If you see here, okay, client dot commit to this core, okay, core here. So by that way, you will be committing that data or index data to solar. See, this is a very simple use case, right? Solar API provide you some out of the box other methods as well where you can perform this using bean classes they provide you some specific uh, annotations you can use that annotation for now you can explore those APIs this is very simple use case so what will happen actually here one more thing right if you see here page ID right so what I'm doing it's basically the ID means whenever you add any document to solar solar add you a ID so right now rather than I'm allowing solar to add its own ID I'm passing my my ID so what I'm doing I'm getting the path okay page path and here I'm just what I'm doing here if you check here so whatever the slash I have in path I'm replacing with hyphen so that it will be unique so I'm replacing whole the path means whole path all the slashes forward slashes with my hyphen so that I have a unique ID for a form uh, for a page so let me build this code to my AM okay so my code has been built now check in solar let's come to the solar and if you see I have three codes available so this basically these are two for my demo one is the geeks tutorial another one is AM geeks so if you check here geeks tutorial I have zero document okay and even am geeks i have zero document so what i'll do if you check here come back here 
so you my servlet is a path based servlet let me show you that okay my servlet is a path based servlet and path is this bin geeks solar search you can make it resource based as well as per your need okay so what i'm doing here i'm passing this my servlet and i'm saying search operation is index let's say index okay index and site path is this one so what will happen it will get the co context aware configuration for this site whatever i have added and it get all the information from this context aware configuration it will get the site id for this con uh, for this site based on that site id it will get my osgi configuration from osgi configuration it will get my solar endpoint so what and for that and from this context aware configuration it will get my collection as well so let me show you that in crxt first so as soon as i make my request it will get this uh, context aware configuration and it has because it's a path bind it so because of path it will get this and from this it will get this site id geeks hyphen tutorials using this site id it will search for the fact uh, configuration osgi configuration among all the available factory configuration instances so there's two one for the am geeks you see here another one for the geeks tutorial so it will using that site id it will match the site id here and it will return this osgi configuration and this is my endpoint okay so that way it will resolve all your dependencies whatever you need so if i make it here search okay so you see the syntax error because i did not create a exact json and i'm returning json so come to the raw data it will say total four document has been added and why it is saying that so if i you check here implementation i wrote this right i wrote this return total whatever the size of this list is and return so let me go back to solar and check whether document has been indexed or added here Okay, it's AM Geeks. We we have done for Geeks tutorial, and the four document are available now. If I make a query, and let's say search, you see the four documents has been added now. Now let me do it for Geeks tutorial. So I'll, I'll change the path. As I change the path, different OS context aware configuration will be fetched for this, and the different OSGI configuration. So let me do it. Okay, it it's completed. And if I say twenty document has been added, means the I have 20, 25, sorry, 25 pages and 25 document has been added. So if I go back to my solar and let me load AM Geeks, you see the 25 documents. And if I make query, okay, and so these documents have been added. So 